Hey, good morning and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I uh, done a video, but you know, I mean, things have been in the way. That thing called life. Um, what else? I'm still struggling with my back injury from the two accidents. <laughs> Joy. You know, getting getting run down by a car and then being rear-ended by another one, I'm, you know, a month apart, really did me in and um, kind of left the bike park for a while. Um, it's getting terrible gas mileage, but it's not running terrible. And um, I'm gonna tell you what I think after I show you this. See, I broke the fuel door off. Now, how did I do that? Well, let me explain. I was pumping gas and I was standing in diesel fuel and um, because I was only going back home to change I was wearing sneakers shame on me I know so is what happened is I slipped into diesel fuel and to keep my balance while I was pumping gas I actually pushed on the nozzle into the fuel tank now the fuel sending unit is right there now, usually when I filled up with fuel, I usually had like 220, 230 miles to empty, depending upon what the last tank was. Well, now I just filled up and it says I have 203 miles to empty. So, my theory of thinking is I bent that fuel float down, so it's actually telling me I have less fuel than I actually have. Now, why do I say this? Because when I just filled up now, it said I had 60, 60 some odd miles to empty. And I should have at least taken 5 gallons of gas. At least. I should have been able to squeeze in like 5, 5.1. But, I was only able to manage, I squeezed in, I barely got 4 gallons in the tank. Barely. So, this is leading me to believe that, yes, I bet the fuel fin sending unit when I slipped and jammed the gas nozzle all the way into the tank I just hope I didn't damage the fuel pump or any of the fuel pump hoses shame on me I know I'm an idiot and we got more houses going in isn't that nice more traffic all these roads are going to be obsolete in another five years oh well I take that back all these roads are obsolete now if you don't believe me ask anybody that lives in Manatee County or Sarasota County yeah, our, our roads are obsolete. So, that's my story on the fuel issue. Is that I have bent the sending unit. I am going to, look, we still got floodwaters over here. This whole road was closed back in, what was it, August 5th when we had that 20 some odd inches? Yep. Yep, this whole road was closed for a week or so, not a week, a day or two, maybe three, yep, so, not good. So I'm out for a little ride, and like I said, squirrel, I think, I think my train wreck, holy crap, <laughs> I think my fuel mileage issues is actually a fuel sending issue which means it's telling me I have less miles per gallon than I actually do because the way I calculated it out if I'm only getting if it says I'm getting 120 well let's call it 130 if I'm getting 130 miles out of six gallons of gas allegedly which I can't put in anymore because there's always more gas in there than it should be and I should be getting, you know, anywhere between 190 and 210 before I need to fill up. Yeah, that, that you know, I, I can't see uh, the fuel economy tanking that bad without having check engine lights and just the bike running super crappy all the time. It's not running super crappy, it's, it's running really good. I mean, here I am going 60 some odd miles an hour and uh, 2500 RPM, and I can crack that throttle and and it just responds so I mean it still has the throttle response 
so I think I damaged the fuel sending unit and or the pump. So I'm going to take a little ride. I'm going to monitor my fuel, watch how fast it drops. And then I will know by there and I will have to have that remedy corrected. And uh, you know, a little ride and before I uh, go to my independent mechanic, I will stop and get my doggy her medicine. She has allergies. Most, most dogs in Florida do. Most dogs in Florida have bad allergies. If I don't give her her Apoquil twice a day, she will lick her feet and show their bloody stumps, which is not good. So, yeah, that's it for now. I know, short little video, but uh, maybe I'll tune back in and if I see anything else worthwhile. So, that's that. Oh, do any of you just play the Mega Millions or whatever it is? Yeah. I saw when I went into the store to get my receipt for the gas that it was <coughs> 600 and something million dollars. So, maybe one of you guys will hit and buy me a new motorcycle. That would be nice because I do want to go to Sturgis next year and, uh, hmm. I'm going to have to start saving my pennies now in order to go to Sturgis next year. Maybe I'll start a GoFundMe. GoFundMe to Sturgis. That's the one big event I've never been. I've been to Daytona, I've been to Myrtle Beach, I've been to Laconia, uh, I've been to Ameritade up in New York. Oh, what is that, Lake George up there? Yeah, been there. Nice. I think of all the places I've been, I think uh, Maricade was the best, even though it rained all week, but the, the riding was awesome. We went out every day and rode. Didn't matter, rain, whatever. I came back home with pneumonia. <laughs> I took six more weeks off from work. Ah! I don't think they were too happy about that, but hey, it is what it is, you know? You never want to take... As I go, you never want to call in sick, or you never want to call in for a vacation day when you can call in sick. I don't know. One of my old work, one of my old work, uh, geez, what do they call somebody you used to work with? Partner in crime? Colleague, colleague. One of my former colleagues will chime in. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Not really. There it is. It's kind of funny. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out here and uh, we're going to take this Route 62 out and we're going to go all the way out as far as the Duet Road. And then when we go... to the Duet Road. We'll go down the Duet Road and we'll take 64 back to 675 and 675 I'll be able to get my doggy medicine and then I'm going to cut through the back of a subdivision and I'm going to go up, uh, I don't know, Buffalo Creek Road and then I'll make my way over to my Indy guy and that should take me a little of 90 minutes or so. That's it for now, so thanks for tuning in, and oh, as always, give me a big thumbs up, smash that like button as hard as you can, break your keyboard, break your phone, smashing that like button, subscribe, oh, speaking of subscribers, thank you to my two new subscribers, I appreciate it, and um, yeah, as always, um, stick around, I may turn back in, I may not, but in the interim, peace and God bless.